Number 58. Suppose you want a capacitor bank with a total capacitance of 0.75 farad and you possess numerous 1.5 millifarad capacitors. What is the smallest number you could hook together to achieve your goal? How would you connect them? Okay, so a problem like this, you know, we might be dealing with some formulas, but uh, it really takes a little thinking to kind of figure this out. So just give yourself a hypothetical, right? Pretend you had two capacitors. So let's say you got an arrangement like this, okay? You got a series arrangement. And pretend each of them had a capacitance of, let's say, two, it doesn't matter, two farads. Who cares? Okay? Two farads. Where's the two? I don't know. There it is. So two farads. And if this is if this is a series, my question is, what's then the total capacitance? Well, you'd have to use the series formula. One over the capacitance, the total capacitance in series is equal to one divided by the first capacitor in series plus one over the second capacitor plus one over the third, uh, etc. plus dot, dot, dot. So then it's one over the total is going to be equal to one over two plus one over two. What's one half plus one half? It's going to just be one, right? And we know then that, you know, the equivalent capacitance here in series is basically equal to one. If I had to solve this algebraically, right, all I would have to do is just do a little cross multiplication, bring that on up, bring this on down. 1 over 1 is obviously equal to 1, and we realize that the total now capacitance, and this is the key, the total now capacitance here of capacitors in series is less, less than any individual capacitor. That's always going to be true. So, I don't even really need to probably do the other example, but it's definitely not this way, right? If you have if you have small capacitors, 1.5 millifarad capacitors, and somehow you got to connect them to get a larger overall capacitance, right? 0.75 farads, it ain't happening in series. Because when you connect them together, look, the total basically goes down. If they were in parallel with one another, watch, just do it very simply. If these two were in parallel, so let's say we draw something like this, right? We got a capacitor here, boom, 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 boom. Capacitor here, boom, 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 boom. Not really sure what the sound effects are. Two farad, two farad. The question then is, how do you add these guys up? This is in parallel now. Why don't I change the color a little bit? Make a little happy blue. So this is parallel and that's in black still. So parallel. Sure. Um, what you need to do is you need to know the formula, right? That the capacitance, um, the total capacitance basically of a parallel arrangement is going to be equal to capacitor 1 plus capacitor 2. So if you notice here, just based on the math, right, this would be 2 plus 2, and that would then be 4. So notice when they're in parallel, they essentially, just like the formula says, add together, okay? So the total here will be larger than what you started with for a parallel arrangement. For a series arrangement, the total that you get is going to be less than the value of any individual capacitor. So just think about how the question could have changed on you and you know what other what other formula we would have then been answering this basically in it would have been in series arrangement. But since I know I need to get and connect a whole bunch of smaller capacitors, 1.5 millifarads, and eventually I got to bring that up into uh, that it can become 0.75 farads, I know I have to connect them in parallel because I have to go from a small individual number to a larger one. So they got to add up and sum up together. And how many will that be? Well, you know, just think about it. If each one is, and why don't we get the same units actually, right? So this is really like saying uh, 0 0.0015 farad, okay? And somehow we got to get this to be totaling 0.75 farad. How do you think? If each unit has this amount and I got to get to that total, how do you find it out? It's a simple division, right? 0.75, take the total, divide it by the value of each one, and watch what we get. Let's see, 0.75 divided by 0.0015, huh, 500. And that's how many there are, right? That's how many individual units will fit into this larger overall sum. So the answer, my friends, is 500. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I really do hope this helped. If it did, please give us a hand. Subscribe, hit that like button, tell your friends. We appreciate it so much. Take care.